Hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. Today we're going to do a quick install for you on these new Sasquatch taillight tent covers or uh, tent overlays, if you will. Uh, we've already got a, uh, a light smoke over the inserts on here, which is one of our kits already existing. We've had that out for about two years now. Uh, this is something we've just recently added. We've had some customers ask about it, and it's something that I'll see since we had that shape of that taillight. It was something easy for us to offer to you guys, and uh, it is out on the site now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just put this right on top of what we've got now. Uh, we had some questions on how do you install this. Typically most of the stuff we do with these tent lenses are done dry. Um, you do get into some, some points here as, as you can see this one we just put this on last week and there were still a couple spots in there that we needed to go back and just get a little bit of air out. I could also lift that up and relay it but these smaller pieces are a lot easier to work with. And again, I'm not jabbing that through there. just wanted to get a little poke on that to get that out. But again, I'm going to leave that on there. Um, I do like that, that look on there. Again, that's the light smoke option for that taillight. But we're going to put this dark smoke on there on that Sasquatch. And again, forgive me, uh, with this left shoulder, just had surgery on that, and i got to be careful on using that. But I'm just going to kind of use that to hold this up in place and typically use my, my right arm on this. But that's, that's going to be our fitment on that. So this is really cut right to that edge. You can see there's a little bit of overlap, which is just that, that white border on there. Um, you've got a little bit of room to play with this, so it's not a, not a huge deal. So again, wet or dry installation, that's the question. I prefer to do that dry, but that also means as you get into this dip, it's going to have to take a little bit of work to do that. If you go with the wet method, um, we can spray that down, spray the back, get that slotted into position, work all that stuff out, but it's, it's going to take a lot longer for that to dry. Um, and again, it's what you feel more comfortable with. This is a wet, a wet solution install, but because it's a little bit, you know, it's not a lot of material, you can do that dry. Uh, we also just introduced some of our installation product. Again, we talk about this in every video. Our wet solution, which is our slide, and of course our alcohol water mix, which we call our prep. So again, in this case, just a quick shot of that alcohol water mix. Make sure our lock is off of that. Get some pump in there, there we go. It's just to make sure that's clean. And again, that is a 10% alcohol, 90% water mix in there. And we're gonna go ahead and do this one. I'm gonna try this dry, and if we come back and it's my fault, I messed something up, I'm gonna redo this video and I'm gonna do it wet. But, I am pretty sure this would be just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and just Hinge that on the back so I've got a good lineup on here and kind of again pull this so it's not tacked at the bottom. But I'm going to use this lineup at the top and I'm going to tack that bottom. And again, the squeegees that we provide with these kits are going to be a hard squeegee, which is going to be like this edge here on a white one. Um, and you can hear that come up in there. So again, you've got this dip in here. Once I get this outside tacked. Pull this side down. Oops. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and pull this all the way up. Hold this side up. And really get some pressure in there. And go straight up with that and start working that out. And again, this is dry. This is the dry install method. Let's see how this looks. up from that bottom again and I can see it there so we are good there and I got a little bit of bubbling here and here so again because this is well there's this is reversed out we can literally just take our thumb push that air out through there same thing here we got a little bit right there and that's where we can use that, I'm not sure if you can see that there, but we can either lift, let the, let the air release in there, and then push that out. It's a little piece there, that could be the color, the layer underneath. And again, you just want to poke it and then let that come out. That's it. This is all good. That is on there. Um, again, so I'm going to stick with that dry method. I like that control of having that mask on that because this is reverse cut out. If you do that wet, you may have a little bit of, these may want to fall in and, and you know, they're, they're not going to get out of place. So it really is whatever you feel more comfortable with. That wet method will just take a little bit longer to dry, um, but it is totally safe to do. 
Um, again, if I've been doing this a long time, I like the dry method. Uh, you just want to make sure that all those edges are down around those edges. And uh, that is really it. If you guys have any questions before you install, give it, you know, uh, if, if you guys have any questions before you install, feel free to give me a call. Be more than happy to talk to you about it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. Sasquatch tent overlays.